Hi, uh, today I'm going to try and give you a brief overview of how to use Binder Hub if you've never used it before uh, for the PyHub 2023 workshop. So uh, first I'm going to uh, start by showing you an example repository that we've put together. I'm going to take a second to share my screen for this and get things out of the way. So you can see here, here I'll make this a little bit bigger that there's this uh, example of GitHub repository we've put together that lives under my personal uh, GitHub account. And you can see here there's some instructions on for uh, presenters on what they should be doing if they want to make sure that their, uh, get, uh, their, their, their notebook talk is accessible uh, to the Binder Hub instance we're going to be using this year. But for everyone who wants to be using it, uh, what might be useful is to actually look at the Binder Hub uh, interface itself. So I'm currently in an incognito mode uh, browser. And if I go ahead and uh, launch uh, this binderhub.ssl-hep.org uh, interface, uh, you'll see here that I get dropped into this uh, authorized users only zone, which is the way that we're going to first interact. So we need to first authenticate with Keycloak. Uh, which is going to let us log in with CI login. So the very first thing that everyone has to do is they have to click this uh, the sign in with Keycloak button. This will now direct you to this page where you see Keycloak. Everyone can go ahead and ignore this username or email and password bit up here. What you care about is instead signing in with CI login. Everyone will do this. So go ahead and click this button. This will now bring you to the CI logon uh, service page. Uh, what we now need to do is select an identity service provider. Uh, there'll be multiple that you can choose from. You'll see there's a plethora. Uh, so you have things like CERN. Uh, you have things like your different um, uh, universities. Um, so what we're going to ask people to do is to make sure that we can authenticate users properly. We're going to ask that you use uh, either your university institutional login, and most will be available here, uh, or we're going to ask that you use CERN or another lab uh, that we know is a that we that we know and is able to authenticate against easily. Uh, so uh, if you're unable to, if you don't actually have a provider uh, that is listed here that you're as associated with, that's okay. You can still follow along, but we're going to ask that you use the public My Binder instance instead of the, the SSL uh, resources that the IRISEP Scalable Systems Laboratory set up for us. Uh, moving forward here, I'm just going to use uh, CERN to as a demo here. So I'm going to use CERN. It's going to say log on. This is now going to take me to a CERN single sign-on service, um, which I will now uh, log in using my username and then my password, which I'll get up off screen here. Um, okay, and so now it's logging me in, and it shall it will go ahead and drop me into this uh, binderhub.sslhep.org uh, interface. Uh, so if you're a user uh, uh, and you're not presenting at the workshop, you probably don't need to care too much about this because you're just going to be clicking links that are going to be accessible from the Indigo agenda. Uh, but uh, kind of a short example here is if I just take the GitHub URL and drop it in there for this example notebook talk, then we're going to go ahead and hit launch. And then we'll see that there is already a container that has been built before in the past. And we're going to be dropping into a uh, notebook con uh, container really soon. OK, um, cool. So that went ahead and worked. And we can now see that uh, we're inside of a Jupyter, uh, Hub, uh, a Jupyter Lab instance. If I click Talk, then the talk that was inside of this GitHub repository is now accessible to us uh, here as well. And I also have the full environment there, so I can uh, Go ahead and click through the different um, the cells in my notebook. That's that's a well and good. Um, what we're also going to now do, just to try and give some examples, is we're going to look at some uh, additional um, talks that were given in the past and how you and how uh, using them will allow us to interact more with the the binder hub instance. So if we go to uh, Henry Schreiner's uh, level up your Python resource, which is great. Uh, what, what uh, this is the Jupyter book view, but we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the source repository for it. And uh, so this is this is the source repository. 
we're now going to actually go and he's very nicely got some tagged versions of the repository for us. So we're going to go to tags and we see that there is a uh, PyHap 2022 tag. So we'll go ahead and select that. What we're going to do again is go back to the uh, to the binderhub.sslhep.org. So we'll go ahead and open up that view once more. Uh, it still knows who we are because we didn't log out, so we can log. We don't have to log in again. I'm now going to go ahead and uh, copy the the um, copy the GitHub URL once again. But now I want to say, hey. I'd actually like to use that specific tag of the repository. And so that tag was 2022-0912 uh, PyHep. So under this git reference, uh, which can either be a branch tag or commit, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in. And we now see that, um, that the actual URL to launch that has changed a little bit as well. Uh, so if we go ahead and hit launch, then we see that this was already built as well. And so this is going to be uh, launching quite quickly. Um, just need to give it a few seconds. Okay, great. And so now we see that we're in a different, um, if we compare the two JupyterLab instances in which we have open now, we see that we're in uh, different environments with different launchers, but we can click through and see all of Henry's nice notebooks that exist in here as well. Um, so uh, we're now gonna try and show, but notice something that we're in this, uh, we've now moved from this binder hub to this Jupyter hub instance because the binder hub launches you into a Jupyter hub on the same uh, SSL service. Uh, so we're gonna make uh, just one small uh, further note, which is given that this, um, Given that this is a binder hub, in, uh, a Jupyter hub instance that's being spun up and maintained uh, by SSL, there's also some additional uh, niceties to it. So, for example, uh, there's also um, some storage that is being allocated just for the workshop. So, if we look under, I think it's the data directory, we can see that um, that uh, there is there's area for you to work on. So, that means individual users can do things like make dir uh, dash p and then uh, forward slash data forward slash your username uh, and if you look under uh, under data then uh, oh okay actually well that's under jovian so you want to do something that's more descriptive so you don't want to do uh, something that's unique such as data and then like uh, last name or account like that or something but uh, this uh, temporary storage will be accessible to you during the workshop, and that means that if you're a presenter, you can also download data uh, directly to there, and it will be accessible by everybody uh, for, for the workshop, which might allow you to extend your demo a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's say that we've gone ahead and gone through one of the talks, and that's great, but we now want to try and move on to a new one. Uh, so if we close out some of these resources, we um, you, we we can note though that uh, we didn't actually close anything. Uh, what you how to actually close out of your account uh, or out of uh, shut down the different server instances is if you go up on the left hand side to file, then you'll notice that there's this hub control panel that's uh, option that's located at the bottom. If you click that. This is now going to show you all the different instances of uh, different um, of different Jupyter Lab servers that are running for you. So here we see the one for the example talk repository that we spun up, and then this one is for the level up your Python one. Uh, during the workshop, you'll be able to have five of these running at the same time, but um, you might uh, want to after you you finished going through some of the the talks in the morning or afternoon, you might want to go ahead and make sure you shut those down and uh, clean them up so that they don't kind of clutter your space. So the way to stop them is under the actions column, there's these stop buttons. So I'm gonna stop both of these, um, which is gonna uh, pause them. And then in a few seconds later, you'll see that there's now these delete buttons or a, a start button if you wanted to restart that. I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of these as well. Uh, so now that means I don't have any servers running and I have all five of my slots back. Okay, um, so I think that's kind of a brief summary of how to actually use the Binder Hub and, and Jupyter Hub uh, services that Iris Hub Scalable Systems Laboratory has set up for the PyHap 2023 workshop. 
Uh, hopefully this has been useful. And if you have any questions, please reach out to the workshop organizers and we'll be more than happy to try and get you uh, set up. All right, thanks very much and enjoy the workshop.